Okay, today I'm working on a Samsung TV. The model number is Paul Nancy 50 Alpha 550 Sam 1 Frank X Ray Zebra Alpha. Now, this TV came in, it was completely dead. First thing I did is I checked my power supply voltages, I checked my VA, it was normal. 57 volts, I checked my VS, it was normal. I couldn't find the uh, VSC. And uh, fortunately, my friend Dan, who's been doing this for 35 years, came by. Uh, yeah, this was a good He one. Uh, explained to me that you just test, test the edge of the resistor here. It doesn't say VSC, it says VSCAN, and that's where you get your minus 195 volts. And we check the VA, which is on the top end of the uh, X sustain board, right here. VE, I mean. Did I say VA? It's VE. Yeah, it's VE. And we had our normal voltage there too, which was 96 volts. Now, what was interesting is, first thing I was wondering about when the TV came in, these two LEDs were the TV wouldn't come on; it was completely dead, uh, no screen lighting up whatsoever. But these LEDs were flashing on this logic board here, one right here and one right here. Now, when he first turned it on, there was an additional LED that came on on the bottom. Momentarily. Yeah, just momentarily, and then it shut off. So. Um, now, whenever I'm fortunate enough to have another friend who's in the business troubleshooting, I always like to watch what they do. And I know the first thing you did, Dan, you walked up and you put your finger on each one of these buffer board ICs yeah. to check to see and if any of them were hot. They're all consistently the same and, temperature. And you said they were all the same temperature. You noticed that the uh, heat sinks on here were good and toasty hot, which means your Y sustain board has power going through it. I noticed there were no shorts to ground checking on the VS line going into the uh, Y sustain board. And I had my 5 volts coming out of the power supply. I checked that. Or 5.3 in this case. Um, didn't find any blown fuses. And so um, I asked the woman, I said, well, what was the symptom when it first started giving you problems? Before it went completely dead, did you see anything happen at all? And she said, well, yeah, I had a, a 2 inch vertical bar going from the top to the bottom. So hearing about the two inch vertical bar, that gave me a clue as to where the problem might lie. So I started thinking perhaps a shorted X address board or what Dan calls a C board, this board at the bottom here. So uh, Dan used the isolation technique. What he did was he, he unplugged the cable going to the X address board to see if anything would change. When he did, we got, started getting half a screen, which was better than nothing. We didn't get any screen before. So this side of the screen came on, so we started thinking, okay, this this X address board, maybe it's got a short to ground, or perhaps even the panel's got a problem. Panels have been known to go bad and cause various problems. I also spoke to my friend Damon, the plasma TV expert, and he mentioned he'd seen vertical bars occur from uh, the buffers on the logic board going bad. So that was another possibility, too. But in this case, as my friend Dan began unplugging each one of these cables here and putting them back, all of a sudden, guess what? I had full picture. Hard to believe that's all it was, unless it were just lucky. Maybe it was something unrelated, but it seems it was just a matter of reseeding these ribbon cables. Who would have figured? But yep, we got full picture now. So we need to let it run for a while and see if that's going to do it. But anyway, that was another valuable uh, lesson in plasma TV repair. Never get carried away and start tearing thing, uh, things apart until you do the obvious first. Uh, some of the simple things. Check your voltages. Check your buffer board ICs to see if any of them are running hot. Check your fuses, numerous fuses. Um, oh, and, and that other point I made at first was the S VSC. Um, I was looking for I was looking for a little uh, test point for the v VSC, and I didn't realize it was just the side of the resistor here. VSC AN, same thing. Anyway, uh, I think that's enough here. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful.